How much does it cost to charge an electric vehicle? Well, it depends on the type of housing you live in. Meet Sven and Suzette. Each drive a Chevy Bolt EV, and they each drive about 14,000 miles per year. Neither of them ever pays for gas. Yeah, yeah, everyone knows this already. Unless, of course, the electricity is generated via oil or gas, which the climate cultists don't really consider because they don't want to. Ignorance is bliss. Sven lives in a single-family home where he can charge in his driveway. Suzette rents an apartment and must rely on commercial EV charging stations installed at her complex. While Sven just pulls up and plugs in... Question. Did Sven have to pay to have that charging station installed? I'm pretty sure he would. And that would be what, a few hundred dollars? Maybe a few thousand? And this EV video that I watched doesn't factor that in. You think they would, because that's a few hundred, maybe a few thousand dollars. We don't know. Sven lives in a single-family home where he can charge in his driveway. Suzette rents an apartment and must rely on commercial EV charging stations installed at her complex. While Sven just pulls up and plugs in, Suzette often has to circle around and wait for a charging spot to open up. Sometimes, she has to check back multiple times. So in other words, she's wasting minutes or even hours. They say she has to wait three hours. You know what? If I worked for three hours, I would make 60 bucks. And that 60 bucks would buy me a half a tank of gas with a little left over. I would rather do that than have to wait for a charging station. Meanwhile, Sven is getting some work done while his car charges. His EV will be fully charged when he needs it in the morning. Suzette also has to move her car as soon as it's done charging to avoid an extra idling fee. And then this Suzette person has to move her car as soon as it's done charging or she gets fined. What if you're in the middle of doing something, like having a shower or taking a crap, and you can't get out right away? You'll get fined. For me? I don't want to have that. One less thing to worry about. When it comes to price, Suzette has to pay for a plan her landlord negotiated with a private charging company. She pays about $164 per month. That includes the cost of electricity plus an upcharge, a monthly access fee, and that idling fee if she doesn't move her car right away. And Sven? He pays about $55 a month for the extra electricity through his home power bill. I'll probably be living in an apartment building. Me and this Suzette person have that in common. So, for me to top up my gas can is $40, $50. And I fill up my gas can twice a month, maybe three times. So $40, that'd be 80 or 120 or 50, it'd be 100 or 150. And that's on average, of course. So like I said a little bit beforehand, she spends hours charging her car or waiting. I would rather use that time working and making money than just sitting around waiting for my car to charge because come rain or shine you got to move that car or you get hit with a idling fee and of course Sven he can just plug it in at his house and catch up on work thing is like most people I'll probably never own my own home Everyone deserves equal access to affordable EV charging. It shouldn't matter whether you live in a house, condo, or an apartment. There are lots of solutions, and together, we can make a difference. Lots of solutions like what? Getting a check from the government for driving an electric vehicle? For being green and progressive? And where does the government get their money from? The taxpayer. Because how would they make it cheaper. The only way I can think of is if the government got involved and started giving people money who drive an EV. If you'd like to help ensure affordable EV charging for all, please join us.
That sounds exactly like affordable health care for all. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on it. Take care out there in clown world.